So the other day, I saw a lot of Modern Warfare stuff. I did actually watch from Always Game Time. I watched his live stream, and uh, we kind of we kind of got a good idea of what was uh, what was going to happen. I I knew that there was going to be some kind of like team event for everyone in the lobby, and then there was going to be the event was going to do something, and then you were going to pretty much see at the end a, some Modern Warfare Three gameplay, which that was actually exactly what happened. We saw some Modern Warfare Three gameplay, and um. It wasn't really actual gameplay. I like how they la they labeled it a gameplay trailer, but it really there wasn't really any, any gameplay. Like all the stuff that you saw in that trailer was just all animations. I so I don't really understand why it was called a gameplay trailer, but that's besides the point. Um, I've been seeing a lot of speculation online, and some people I guess have actually played zombies in Call of Duty early. I don't know if this is true. I don't. I. I did not confirm, nor do I really care that much at this point. But I do still want to kind of give a uh, some background in my uh, in my personal opinions on stuff that's happening in Call, in Call of Duty, uh, especially Call of Duty Zombies, because Zombies is one of the things that's closest to my heart. I've actually enjoyed playing Zombies a lot. Uh, I really enjoyed Cold War Zombies. I really enjoyed uh, Black Ops Three Zombies. I really enjoyed World at War Zombies. Uh, World War II Zombies was also fun. I also enjoyed, despite what you may think, Advanced Warfare. Uh, I actually enjoyed Advanced Warfare Zombies as well. But, uh, you know, the kicker to this whole thing is, um, you know, a lot of people like to say that Treyarch Zombies is, is the best, but thir I did thoroughly enjoy the World War II Zombies, the Nazi Zombies, and then I also enjoyed the advanced warfare zombies which was actually fair which was fairly fun it was it was it had its moments i like jumping around i like doing like the little dash or whatever that was fun getting the suit actually but you know then there was obviously those stupid zombies that you know would would get would emp you and they would get rid of your extra suit kind of stupid but at the same time it still had its edge and still had it was very fun uh so treyarch is actually doing these zombies in Modern Warfare three and I think there's some kind of pressure behind them still in some way because I don't see this as being the best zombies that they're going to have. Uh, there is definitely something that, that they could build upon. Uh, they're actually doing kind of what I said in one of my, my other podcast episodes where they are pretty much going to be merging DMZ and Outbreak. And it is going to be done by Treyarch. So slowly but surely we're kind of coming together. I don't think they're watching my podcast. They're just kind of doing this internally, which is great. But... I think still that DMZ should be its own type of game. And I think that out an outbreak or zombies should be separate, but there should be zombies mixed into D to DMZ. But what it looks like they're going to do is they're probably going to do something along the lines of using DMZ possibly to make an outbreak type of zombies, make it so that nobody can kill each other. It's not going to be P PVP. At least that's what the rumors are. And, I don't really have a problem with that. I actually think that's not a bad idea. But my my gripe here is it kind of goes back to what I was saying before in, in, in a different podcast episode that nobody really, really is really is going to be happy uh, no matter what gets released. So at the end of the day, I don't think that this is going to be bad. This new game. Uh, I'll go through some some of the stuff in, in a second. I I have a list of um of a, of uh, what's it called of uh like features or whatever that's going to be in the game. So I want to go through that just kind of one line item at a time. Uh, and then I want to kind of go over them, but I'm going to give you a general sense right, right now. And my feelings on, on the whole thing. I, I don't think that a DMZ outbreak type of game is what we asked for. And I also, this, the flip side of this coin is I don't want them to ever not in, 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 innovate because that's not good. Right. And they're, they're, they're doing kind of that they're innovating, but at the same time, like nobody really asked for this, like transit having, I mean, if they have some kind of transit in there, like if they have a bus, if they have some kind of transportation, a train, something that's, that kind of can move you around the map faster. Um, that's not a bad idea. It sounds like though, it's going to be more of an attraction type of shooter and, you know, those are okay. And you get to, you know, loot, get perks and whatever else. And then you can extract with those things, which I'll talk about more in a second. But you can essentially extract with what you have, which is kind of like DMZ and kind of like, you know, a bunch of the uh, the extraction shooters. <sighs> okay. 
but we didn't really ask for 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 that. At least at least I re- don't remember asking for something like this. So again, rock in a hard place, but let's move on. First thing is map voting's coming back and red dots on the mini map are coming back, which, you know, is not that big of a deal, but definitely huge because it's the little details that really tend to make or break a game. And in this sense, those were the two things that actually made the game very fun and actually made the game more enjoyable with your friends, especially, especially if you could dominate a lobby, you know, pick the maps that you wanted to pick. But it was, it was generally, it was up to the consensus of the lobby of what they actually wanted to play versus what the game just random to ra- randomly decided. Um, I also hope that they bring back the thing where you can't just keep voting the same map because sometimes like the same map comes up twice in a row and it'll, or three times or four times. It'll just, they'll, people will just keep voting it. So the, um, the, the flip side of that coin was, you know, the, the game would just pick the same map, same two maps over and over again. But, you know, you can play the maps that you actually want to play, which was fun. Red Dots of the map, that's great. When you shoot, you should always be on the map. I don't care what anyone says. Ninja's coming back. The Ninja perk is coming back. But I think since there's going to be, um, you know, gear as perks, I think it's going to change now. So gear as perks is going to be, you know, you're going to have, you know, a set of boots or whatever that are going to make it so you have Ninja or, or whatever. Um, and then you'll, you'll maybe get rid of a different perk, um, you know, you know, obviously you can't put on two different types of boots. So, you know, and that's that, that scenario might be a little bit different, but you may, you may also be able to have multiple perks on. Like if you can have a helmet on a pair of sunglasses on a pair, like a vest on so some pants on and boots, you might be able to have one, two, three, four, five perks on or something, or six. If you have gloves or something like for like fast hands, you know, like stuff like that. I'm thinking about that. You might be able to have like five or six perks on now, just like in multiplayer, if, if that's the case. Uh, which is which is definitely a, a W, but I, I don't I don't know that for, for for sure. That's what it sounds like is happening, but that I, I'm not sure. No, no, nobody's confirmed that that yet. Uh, the 150 health is coming back, which it, it has shown us in the past that that really doesn't matter. Uh, the the health itself, like they could they could make the guns just as strong as if you had 100 health, so it really wouldn't the balancing there is really off. So who cares at this point? Slide canceling is apparently com- com- coming back. Re- reload canceling is coming back. Two things that, you know, we kind of asked for. I don't really care that much about slide canceling. That produced a lot of losers that thought that they were good good at the game just because they could move around a bunch. Um, reload canceling was, you know, it, it is what it is. I, I think reload canceling should be in the game. I, I There's a lot of different instances where I wish I had it in some cases, but then there's other places where I'm like, ah, I wish that wasn't in the, in, in, in the game. But that's, that's a rock and a hard place type of concept too. Uh, 16 maps are coming out launch for all, but the only, the cat, the catch 22 to that is that you got 16 maps, all Modern Warfare 2 maps, which again, if they're very done very well done in the same vision as Modern Warfare 2 was just remastered, then that's actually going to be a better experience, overall experience. I, f- I feel like, and I mean, I, you know, there are some good maps in Modern Warfare 2. So let's hope that the maps that are going to be used with the game modes that you guys want to play or that we want to play or that I want to play um, are all going to be, you know, the problem with the newer call of duties that, that I noticed, this kind of goes back to what I was just saying before with the map voting. P- the only, the only maps I remember playing in like 29 model for 2019 uh, and in like and pretty much any, anything between like model for three and model for 2019 20, out of the maps that I, out of the games that I played in between those two, I noticed that it was mostly, it, it, it ended up, it, it, it ended up becoming the, like the, the same three maps, the same three to four maps that would just show up. And then you would have to just, you know, you'd have to just play, play those maps. So at the end of the day, I, I, I really hope that the, 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 they actually cycle through at least five to 10 of those maps instead of just giving us the same three, three to four maps or less in, in a lot of cases. I know in Modern Warfare 2, the same, there's like same three maps were being played in, in Domination all, all the time. So, same same thing. Ground War is returning. I mean, I don't really know what the difference is. Uh, I hope that the old Ground War returns where you get just you get more players with the same game modes, which is kind of like what was happening in 2019. Um, evolving loadouts. Um, I don't really know what that what that really entails. So, you can, you can interpret that however you want. 
I think the evolving loadouts will probably be linked to, 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 to the gear thing, and, and maybe you might be able to, like, upgrade your gear. So, you know, like, the pro perks might be coming back where you can upgrade, you know, Ninja to make it so that you, you make zero sound when, when you're walking versus, like, when you're uh, when you have just normal Ninja, you probably make, like, one or two steps of a noise after a while. Um, that's how Dead Silence was in Call of Duty 4. You didn't have a pro perk, but you would essentially make like every like five steps you'd make like one step that was very light so you could still hear if you had turtle beaches or something you could, you could still hear the uh the enemy eventually but it wouldn't it wouldn't be so often so you could kind of know where they're coming from in a general direction but if you didn't have that you're using your speakers you most likely would they were literally silent you couldn't hear them ninja was a better thing but ninja had like a key jingle where if you it was people were like running or sprinting or walking every like couple seconds. I think it was like five, six seconds while, while they were running there, there would be like a little key jingle that you could pick up on. If you hear that, there was like no other noise around it. Again, tur turtle beaches were essential with that. If you, if you didn't have the turtle beaches, then you, you wouldn't be able to hear it. So, um, that might be the evolving loadouts. I, I don't know. I'm guessing, but that's, that's something to think about. Uh, zombies mode and a DMZ outbreak. So it's, again, like, like, like I said, zombies is, uh, it's kind of like, it sounds like outbreak and DMZ are kind of now meshed together, which, you know, I didn't really want them to do. I wanted them to kind of create DMZ and create its own li little universe with, with the PVP, but it sounds like they're making it so that like you can have up to 24 players and a total us uh, in a total game and then it's six people in a squad you some people are saying you can't attack the other squads which i'm okay with that might actually be a w at, at, at the end of the day having 24 players in a game and then six people in one squad and uh having it be like an extraction shooter so you guys can kind of work together in some cases you don't have to just like fight each other which is you know because there's always assholes in the in the lobby you know like i i know that i know that um a lot of people like live for the dmz you know kind of interactions with other players and still have like the adrenaline rush of being able to you know get into a fight but at the end of the day it's like you know if i'm a casual player which is the majority of the player base like i don't want to have to worry about cut you know cutting in with other players especially if they're dicks and you know killing me and taking all my shit you know so i know oh you're such a pussy but it's like you know, who wants to deal with that? Who wants to actually... To somebody that wants to have fun after coming home, why would you want to deal with that? You know what I mean? You know, you can have fun in your own ways, but at the end of the day, it's like, why... I wouldn't... I, I don't want to deal with that. Like, I don't want to have to come home and deal with another player that just, you know, that just wants to be an asshole to other people to make himself feel better. It's just... It's stressful. So, that's something where I'm like, okay, that might be a huge W if 24 players are able to come on you know, and, you know, have six, six main squads and be able to kill it. So you, you have pretty much four, four squads in that, in, in that sense. So that, that's good. Um, let's see. Largest open world zombies experience. Uh, this is made by Treyarch, as, as I said. So this might be the largest open world experience that you're going to have, uh, in zombies, which I mean, is, is a W at the end of the day. But I, as I said, it depends on how they're going to, they're going to uh, really set this in motion. I have a feeling it's going to be a rough start, uh, like everything Call, Call of Duty is. But if this is done properly, and if they were to really split up D DMZ and make its own mode, if, if they don't, I guess it is what it is. But if they're pretty much using D DMZ and Outbreak in, in, this, in the same game, that's why DMZ is in beta. Um, it may not be that bad of an experience. Uh, there could be two different modes to DMZ. It could be the outbreak mode, and then there could be just normal D DMZ li like you're seeing now, well, which would also be a W because then, I again, I want them to kind of split up those two things and not keep them together. I feel like that's going to be a bad decision at, at the end of the day, especially in zombies if you do PvP, unless it's its own. The problem that I think Call of Duty really has is that they're, they're doing things that they sh they're doing they're doing game modes that should be their own separate games like in Dying Light like Dying Light has a multiplayer and they have a, a you know they have they have, they have they have a PVE campaign and then they have a PVP where they where they have the zombies like that's well established but the problem that Call of Duty I think faces in a lot of ways is they try to they they try to make a game mode into that should be a game it's on its a standalone game all on its own they they make that into like a game mode, which is just annoying. So just to recap what I just said, I'm pretty sure it was just really confusing. 
Call of Duty has this thing where they try to make a game mode that should be its own standalone game into a game mode for people to play. Which is, that's their biggest down, downfall. It's that simple. Um, Let's see where, where, where I'm at here. No round-based zombies. That's what I heard too. So there will be no round-based zombies apparently in the DMZ mode. Or sorry, in the outbreak mode. Uh, in, in zombies. Which is kind of a bad idea. Um, I think Vanguard, they didn't learn from that for, from that mistake. At least maybe they didn't. I'm not sure. But uh, no round base is kind of stupid. I think round base should still be in there. I, I was not a fan of Outbreak, to be honest. I thought it was kind of... I thought it was boring at the end of the day. Because it's just like you just go in, you do some objectives, and then you go, and then you you know, you know teleport, you new place, harder zombies... Do some objectives, tell 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 teleport. I mean, yes, training zombies in an infinite round based game is you know yeah same thing where it's like oh it's so boring. I get it, but like at the end of the day, it's like you still kind of need that breakup. So I think that round based zombies and outbreak would still be a good idea. So they should still incorporate incorporate those two things into the zombies. When if if they don't, I think that might be an L. Um. So, yeah, the rumors of you not being able to kill other squads, I've been hearing rumors about that. So, that would be a W, I feel like. But I still think they should have the DMZ mode that maybe mixes in zo zombies. Because, again, DMZ is still in beta. So, that should probably be the thing where, you know, it it will it will differentiate the two, essentially. Bring, they're bringing back Essence as currency to kind of buy things in-game. Uh, you'll be able to ex you'll be able to exfil or extract with loot that you get. So if you get a perk, if you get a gun, you get to keep that, and you get to have like Juggernaut. If you extract with Juggernaut, that you'll be able to extract. Or you'll be able to go into the next DMZ or Outbreak game with Juggernaut with with a cool gun or whatever else. There's ray gun boxes, I guess. Um, so this this is th that's pretty much it for my list. I I think that this is going to be a good iteration, but I, I definitely gonna need some work. It just just from what I, what from what I'm hearing on TikTok, from like hearing on online, I think that this that this outbreak mode is going to need a lot of tweaking because I, I think that they're getting very ambitious and they probably just don't know what they're doing at at the end of the day. There's no leadership on what 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 they need as far as a as an end goal as an end product. Their their product managers must be absolutely terrible again, or it could be just so so people people from the C class. I'm not sure, but um. It seems like it's very it's a very scattered product, considering that there's no really background as far as DMZ goes, and as far as like now people are just comparing it to DMZ and out and outbreak having a baby, which I mean at the end of the day, yeah, that could be the case, but you know that's that it's tough to uh, to kind of give you know that whole background is that that being the real reason why they're making it, uh, and then. I don't are are they continuing to work on D, DMZ or are they not continuing to work on DMZ? We don't know that. So we essentially have to figure this out, kind of piecemeal it together. Which I, I guess we'll find out in the coming months how and what this will actually look like. But at the end of the day, I, I, I this is going to need a lot of work. So just be prepared for that. I I, I I'm probably going to make a video. We'll we'll see if I make a video on this whole Modern Warfare Three thing. Uh, a lot of people, again, are hyping it up, getting it all exciting, and yada, yada, yada. And I'm kind of just sitting here like, this sounds like the last time. So, uh, there could be a lot of di di differences in this one. Uh, if they are making Treyarch do zombies, I think it might they might be a W. I don't know how they're going to do it, and I hope that they execute it properly and there's nobody holding them down or holding them back. But at the end of the day, that could be an issue. So, I, I, I don't know. But, yeah, keep... Uh, Keep up to date. Subscribe. I'm going to do some more model for maybe even some more GTA stuff on this channel. Uh, definitely more interviews. We got we got another interview coming up soon. Probably next week it will probably be posted. Uh, nobody in line this week, but definitely uh, def definitely next ne next week. And I'm really enjoying the the interviews, so I'm probably going to keep doing those as much as I can. I mean, if this turns into an interview channel, I, I would be happy with that. Um, and I hope you guys would be too. But... Yeah, I mean, I totally 100% enjoy this, and I enjoy making these little these little ep episodes. Uh, I'm trying again. I'm trying to keep these short. I'm trying to keep my room clean. I mean, I just got this for this microphone. This is actually, which I forgot to mention. This is uh, this 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 is Turtle Beach, and so is this. Um, this this is this microphone's called the King B2. 
This is the uh, Stealth 700s Max. I did a I did two videos on on the, on these things, but uh, this microphone. I'm probably gonna have to get a different stand that could probably swivel, or maybe I can get one that goes in my desk or something. Uh, but definitely have to change exchange this out some somehow because I I can't turn this. I can't really do anything with it. I need like a wrench, and I don't want to ru ruin it. So. Um, the quality on this may not be that that good as far as voice because this is the right side I'm supposed to be talking through, but I'm kind of talking through this side. So we'll see we'll, we'll see what happens there. But uh, King King B2 very good mi mi microphone. I tested it prior to me get, get getting on here, and it's actually a really good microphone. It's it's about 200 bucks, um, you know, but um, it's uh, it's definitely worth it's definitely worth the money. I mean.